Hi friends, welcome to Penos Tartan. In today's video, we are going to make a short review on Click Tulip Fountain Pen. And this is the blue color transparent one. And in the trim set, there is a golden color clip and the golden color ring here. And there is another golden color ring which is in the bottom of the body. The brand's name Click also stamped here. On the whole, this is looking so aesthetic. And here I'm. This is a uh, thread type opening. You have to unscrew this uh, cap. And this is number 5.5 nib. For this pair, you can uh, refer our site as we are having many brands for number 5 nib like fine, medium, uh, broad, and also in uh, uh, full golden or full sil silver plated or dual tone one. And you can also swap with the uh, flex nibs also. Pen enthusiast will uh, choose the with candrate nibs as uh, where you can find uh, all fine medium broads and uh, all thing uh, mixed with and the grip portion is so soft and smooth finished one and highly uh, this is a highly recommended pen, pen for the little fingers like beginners and the ink filling system here is the piston type one. For that you have to uh, screw this back like uh, you have to do this in anti-clockwise direction so the piston will move forward and you can dip in the ink and turn this in the clockwise direction so that the ink will fill up this portion and if you are doing this for the first time you can do this for 3 to 4 times so that the air will move uh, go up outside and the ink will be filled up here and on pen maintenance, you have to wash this uh, with water at least uh, twice a month whenever you are filling the ink um, because all the dye based ink will precipitate on the long run in the feeder portion itself. So it will block the flow of the ink in the feeder portion so you will get a scratchy writing too. So and the slowly ink will dry quickly then you might have to shake your pens for uh, the ink flow to come out and I, have, I think you might have experienced this the reason is the blockage in the feeder grow so to clean this you have to soak this pen for uh, for in soap water at least for one hour or otherwise you can wash this in a running tap water you can easily remove this uh, feeder and the the nip portion by pressing hold pressing this and turning this and pull uh, pull it out so you have to do this simultaneously you can uh, then use your uh, brush to clean this uh, easily uh, and quickly. So this process would take at least five uh, five minutes. So with this, uh, you can get uh, on doing this. You can get a very long run of this pen. Means you can use this for a long time. And the paint maintenance is important thing. And uh, the another thing is uh, nib tuning. Few nibs uh, needs to fine tune because during manual assembly of nibs the tines may stick together. So gently push the tines up and down on the both sides so that the space will created in this portion so the ink, uh, ink will come out very uh, in good flow. In turn you will receive a very smooth writing and uh, Whenever we dispatch this pen to our customers, we do this tuning and we will check before dispatch. And please ensure both the tines are in parallel. If not, you will get a scratchy writing. And after you nip tune this, you will receive a, of course, you will get a smooth writing and very good ink flow. So let me give a writing sample. For today's writing, I am going to use our emerald green ink, which is a dye based one. Here I'm dipping in the ink and drawing here the excess. This is so smooth like butter, of course.
the writing is so good the pens uh nib was writing so uh, smooth and uh, the flow also coming out very well because i nib tuned this and uh, and then if you have any query you can ask in the comment section or else you can uh, contact us in whatsapp or call you can uh, get our whatsapp number in our penno student site itself thanks for watching this video thank you